Lord, I might... Well, Naba is a collective, first of all. Um, just a group of people sharing this common interest of um, prophesying um, through our gifts, allowing the Holy Spirit to just create in and through us. Um, but more formally, we can be described as an independent label. Well, Naba is Hebrew for um, to prophesy. Um, and we came across the meaning um, early in our, in our time as friends, even before we had the concept of the label. We were, in, around about that time, we were um, in the season where we were praying a lot. Odd hours, 4 o'clock in the morning, 6 o'clock in the morning. Um, and we were just trying to find more of God, understand our purpose and the, the, the alignment of our giftings with, with what God is doing in the earth. And we stumbled upon the concept of the Levite. And it's a little crazy because I think as Christian musicians, you know, I must hear Levite before, um, but I, for one, had never heard it before. Heard of the Levite um, and the musical Levite, and just in reading up on on on, on the musical Levites, um, musicians who played and and and, and special things happened. Um, we came across the term Naba to prophesy, and we thought it it spoke to what we want to do, um, which is to be vessels um, and have the music just be a vehicle for the Holy Spirit to do whatsoever he would want. Fast forward to January 2015 when we started having the idea of the label and I was like yeah what what else would the name be for the label but to prophesy um, so that's what Naba means it is to prophesy which is what we do. Oh, yeah, no, no, Jesus. Pan you me a focus. So we started Naba Music as a means of recording our own music. As Chad said, it's an indie label. Um, we started, of course, with some small mercies because uh, God pointed the original group or one band, one artist under the label, being AIU. Uh, there was a prophecy that, hey, you guys will record your own music. Uh, by yourselves or with whatever means God would have provided for us. So it started with small mercies and the mercies continue to, to come our way. Uh, we're just grateful for every step. And so, the, you know, when we had our launch in September. September 2015, you know, God continued to provide um, avenues for us to not just record but, you know, produce our own music meeting other artists with like with like minds and yeah we hit it off from there <laughs> what keeps the bond alive in this group i believe is the holy spirit first of all um because we're varying in characters in personalities so it must be the Holy Spirit. And I've noticed, you know, like a lot of bands, like over the years, them, they come into um, differences, they, they buck up on personal, personality challenges, and it's like them just, well, you know, this, fade them fade away, yeah. So it really, it really is the Holy Spirit that, that has kept us thus far. And I believe we are of level, level heads most times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, most times. So we're able to, to be rational about situations and talk them through. And we're very jovial people at heart, so we're cracking up all the time. So, yeah. That's true. Um, and I mean, I don't think it would be an honest interview if we didn't you know, speak about the fact that we are very different. We're very different personalities. And so clashes are an order of the day. Whether that be what we've been wear, um, the order of the set, an arrangement, everything. Um, but just reinforcing that this is the Holy Spirit. Um, and we have had a foundation of the understanding of love, um, the necessity of it, um, and how much God values it even above um, this ministry, um, service endeavor. And so we keep that in the forefront of our minds 
by the grace of the Holy Spirit, you know, not of our own doing. Um, and that's what really keeps the bond alive, as, as Joel said, in spite of our very vast creative differences. The approach is like deep waters. Um, AIU stands for Anointed Individuals United. Um, well, the vision from the onset was to to do that, do just that, you know, record music, have it be published, have it out there for people to be ministered onto and stuff. I mean, along the way, I wouldn't say we got sidetracked, but we ventured down a path of playing for other people, sort of being a backing band, but not so much so. Um, but then we realized that in doing so, we kind of lost focus of the vision that we, we, we sat out with um, which is to record our music and you know get it out there um, as AIU yeah so now that we're back on the track and I, I don't think the vision was lost per se at any point it was I thought maybe it's just another means to get to that place or something to do while we're on the journey to that place we're here now and we're doing our thing ourselves, we're not a backing band, we're not playing for anybody else but AIU and the general label, yeah. So we're out here. <laughs> well, I'm the new kid on the block. Oh. <laughs> um, it's, been, it's been refreshing to find like-minded people. Um, and I, I, I've discovered true talent within the groups. Well, the group and the artists, the solo artists. And I really love it. Mind you, it, it is a little bit, I don't know, sometimes I get a little bit intimidated by how talented they are. Um, I feel like, Lord, me with these people, you know, but... Thank God um, he has placed me with these people to encourage me as a person and you know I feel like we get along pretty well, yep. pretty well. Um, well, I didn't consider there to be an establishment but I do believe that um, the Lord was opening doors for me to minister, basically, which is release what he has placed in me. And I knew Shanzi from before, and we would have, you know, various conversations, and we shared the same heart for ministry and for music. And so when she mentioned to me, I'm about Naba, at first I was like, ooh, I'm not sure, because of just personal fears. But then it, it was easy afterwards to decide because the vision was the same. I know these guys and their vision is pure. It's all about the Lord. And so that made it easy to say, all right, cool, let's do this. We built the walls of families. Yeah. Oh, so, so for me, it was the, the transition was wonderful. Like... When I'm just around, around the band, like um, the band playing for me, it's just a beautiful experience because I am a musician, not as intense as these guys, but uh, I have an understanding of music. And so um, the, the, the experience for me is more, it's, it's lovely. I can interact with people more when I'm, when I'm on the stage. And so and some ministry is a, bit, is a bit easier for me then. And, and so to express myself, it's much better. So for me, it's just been great. For the Holy Land, pray the name Jerudes came about. I was looking for a Twitter name in 2009. <laughs> <laughs> That's real. That's real. I don't finish. Families rebuild the walls of families in our nations alone. So J Roots came about, I was looking for a Twitter name in 2009, to be exact. <laughs> so at the time, I think that's the time I met you. <laughs> that's the time I met Shanzi, and that's the time we got close. And uh, 
some other friends, Dane and Dalmain, and everybody was on Twitter except me. So I said, okay, I'm going to sign up and go on Twitter. And I turned my name um, at the time, Nicolette Sutherland, before the Swaby, um, backwards. I turned it. <laughs> I go away. And I turned it. Um, you know, backwards. They were like, that's stupid. Why are you turning it backwards? Everybody's still going to know it's you. And so I honestly prayed about it. And I said, Lord, I don't want just another name like at Hot Stuff Nikki or at Nikki Boo, you know, <laughs> or so. <laughs> I didn't want anything like that. And so I honestly prayed about it. And I said, Lord, give me a name. And J Roots just came out of nowhere. And so the whole um, idea behind it is that everything that we are as Christians should be rooted in Christ. You know, the scripture says that all the gifts were given so that we could be becoming to the full stature, the full measure of who Christ is. And so that should be our motivation every day that God, everything that I do, everything that I am, let it be rooted in you. So that's the whole idea behind J Roots. Uh, so the name A will it just came from an abbreviation uh, for so A is for my first name Akim uh, double I L for the shortening of my last name Wilson. What came about that name is that I was just trying to figure out an artist name, and first I came up with simple one, which when I thought about it was very was wasn't really a good name because <laughs> because the word simple you know so so um i thought about it and i was praying about it and then one day my friend that's jeff he linked me and said what about a will i just i i liked it and so i made it my facebook name i just stuck everybody just started calling me a will i wish i wish it was very spiritual but it's really not <laughs> <laughs> it's a for akim double i l the short name for wilson well <laughs> i can't well the one will say how oh, the music choose me <laughs> I never did chose it. <laughs> well, um, for real though, it's been it's been cool. I mean, it's, it's like life, you know. There are seasons, it, and it, it ebbs and flows. Um, but it's been it's been good. No complaints. I don't feel um, what's the word I'm looking for? Misused, taken advantage of. I feel at home here and it's a good place to express myself, express the gift that God has given to me. It's an outlet, a very good outlet for doing that. So I'm grateful in one word. Um, yeah, so far, I think one word I would use is a blessing, um, but another word that uh, and I used earlier intimidating hallelujah because <laughs> no, it's true let me explain because these guys are so talented like you're like going <laughs> like you're like whoa you know and it pushes you you know to be the best that you can be in God because we're doing this unto him and so it pushes you to just to be the best that you can be to do whatever practice you need to practice and stuff like that but just being with them has been a blessing it's been an encouragement you know it's something that motivates me to go on to push you know and just seeing from the the leaders um in starting the label and the challenges that they faced you know and seeing how they decide to wait on god i think that's one of the biggest things that you know encourage me you know that so many times as ministers we think uh, we need to get a big boss i need to go out there and people need to know me because this is in me and it needs to explode and reach the world but just the patience within to know that this is god's business this is his music this is his talent and however whenever he sees it fit to put it out there that's up to him my responsibility is to obey and listen to his voice and just seeing that come from the leaders you know that's been a blessing and that's been something that i will take forever with me
Well, for me, it's it's been amazing. Uh, like I've learned a great deal of things, like proper proper singing. You know, um, I've never been pushed outside of my comfort zone when, when I wasn't working with Naba, when I was working by myself or, you know, working with um, other people. It, it didn't push me to the potential that I know I could have reached. And so I believe that with, with Naba music, I can reach there. I can express myself the way I, I want to, you know. And so it's and, and one of the most amazing things is that they value commitment to God the value uh, personal time with him um, we actually have devotions on Saturdays and and that's just amazing most times um, when it, when you think about music and musicians sometimes they don't even really spend time with God and this is how serious this label takes that spending time with God um, finding out his heart so that we can uh, minister his heart to his people so that they can be reached and so that for me is just simply incredible. Yeah, yeah, to go away <laughs> as many. <laughs> just one more thing, just the, the purity, you know, in the relationships, you know, as I think somebody said earlier that we're all different people and of course at times there will be clashes. But Joel <laughs> You know, just just anything, and it turned into a big laughter, this big joke. And I mean, you know, uh, come around and certain people, you just stiff all the time. And I think that's what helps ministry to be easy to, because you know, think, oh Lord, I need to be, I need to get myself together because Shanti gonna start deserting something, you know. But you just come. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if it's necessary, by all means, but just the purity, you know, just come and be yourself. If, if you're silly, just be silly, you know, laugh at yourself and just all of that. And that makes it fun. Hi, I'm Jay Roots, one of the ITs from Naba Music. Javis McIntosh, producer, engineer, vocalist and musician with Naba Music. Hi, my name is Shani Quartz and I am one of the directors of Naba also the lead vocalist of the band AIU. Hi, I'm Joel Grant, and I'm in Aki Drum. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, I am, I am the drummer for AIU, and one of the drummers in the Naba Collective. Hello, I'm Janelle Grant, I'm one of the vocalists for the band AIU. Hi, I'm Chadwick Morgan, and I am the musical director uh, for the Naba Collective and also the bass guitarist in the band AIU. Hello, I am Anna K. King. I am a vocalist in the band AIU, and we are a part of the NABA. Well gone. Uh, I am A. Will, a recording artist of the NABA label. Go 
wished be comforted. I will be with you if you're committed. Submit to me and I will favor thee. My still would you be diligent and pray for the family, restore the walls, pray for the church, rebuild in truth, pray restoration for the holy land. Oh, yeah. Ooh, it's a larger sun. 